guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the summer season of series 34 which is the first season of series 34 because it is summer um, and it, you can also get access to the first uh, new car of this month the Porsche 356 Emery RSR which as you can see in front of you is for 50% so if you want to know how to get yourself that watch this video to be able to complete it. Now I will say before I carry on this is take two of recording the video because I recorded the video uh, not long after the season change copied the file over from my Xbox thingy went to put it into my editing software to merge with this uh, voice recording and it was just like nope you're not having that and then when I tried to open it no you can't watch it so uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there but I'm hoping this is going to uh, gonna work so if you're watching this on YouTube you'll know that it worked um, so uh, that is why some of the stuff in my festival playlist is marked blank um, whilst I was doing it I did the rivals top 300 out of 12,000 players that have done it so far I'll do more on that just getting out of the way the stunts I did in my first attempt um, so I'll go back through them again uh, and I've just done the forces on the photo challenge as well so uh, at least that's out of the way, at least I haven't totally wasted my time. Um, so as you can see I'm almost at 50% already um, towards the Porsche, for 80% you can get yourself a Rover SD1. Um, I have a couple of them actually, I did sell one I think, um, they're not that rare in terms of how many uh, have been released but I'm not really sure what the price was in the auction. Uh, as usual 50% of the whole series across the four seasons is another backstage pass we also have one of them in autumn and winter for 50% and 80% you get your Toyota E86 Trueno uh, which I haven't actually driven actually I was going to make a tune out of that and I think I sold it to somebody I'm not sure I'll have to have a look um, so regarding the Forzathon shop I mentioned in my previous video that I'm down to quite own, only a couple of Fosden points now because I bought both of these cars because they're pretty cool cars, rare cars, I'm a collector I like to collect duplicates and sell them when the price goes back up um, uh, and the past few weeks I've been doing the same um, So, but I've at least got a couple of points uh, it's not necessary really, I'll probably have all the rare cars anyway i just buy it for the fun of it um, so um, in the shop you've got the 2018 Apollo Intensive Emulsion uh, for 600 points uh, that is also in the backstage so if you don't have many fours on points or you've got a couple of backstage passes lying around you can get one in the backstage it was uh, in there a few weeks ago um, or yeah I think it was a few weeks ago yeah and so I'll show you that in a second you've got the Dabamo and the Old Joy Horn uh, only buy them if you want to get rid of them from your wheel spins if you don't already have them otherwise it's just a total waste of time uh, same with the super wheel spins and wheel spins, uh, usually luck isn't on your side but if you want to feel free um, if you've got as many points as DJ Customs then you've probably got enough, he has like 78k uh, and then you've also got the 2010 BMW M3 GTS, very cool car, I think I'm going to make an S1 tune out of that that's on my list of tunes to make so pretty cool car that one uh, so for the photo challenge I've already done it so it doesn't show what you need to do uh, it's hashtag drive like the wind we've already had this one they're really recycling events quite a lot now uh, all you need to do is take a photo of any hypercar on the moorhead wind farm you can see it's where the windmills are um, so moorhead wind farm it literally is the biggest thing on the map uh, right by the eliminator just go in between a couple of the windmills uh, and you'll have it uh, and hypercars sing things such as the Senna, the Chiron um, Oh, I don't know, the Egera, the Yesco, I oh, know that's a track toy. Um, oh, well, basically, hypercars are what we need for the trial. So, if you take whatever car you're going to take for the trial, um, you can just use that um, for that. So, that gets you a super wheel spin and 1000 influence or whatever it is. Um, for the backstage, I voted uh, in my well in my first attempt at this video so last week the Quartz Regalia won against the Vauxhall Corsa from 2009 as you can see there you got your uh, Apollo um, so the Regalia yeah it's alright and you can actually use it for this week's games if you want to as well 
Uh, regarding this week, I voted for the Aston Martin DBS SL from 2019, um, purely because the, the, I'm pretty partial on this one. Both of them are nice cars, I have a few of each. They're both pretty rare, um, and people like them in different ways. I, I just voted for the Aston Martin purely because I think more people will vote for the piece there, but I'm not really fussed, um, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, I don't really drive them um, that much, except for season events. I might make a tune out of them, but... I drove the Pista on the stream on Tuesday, uh, showcasing Roshan's design, but apart from that, Dev haven't driven it. Um, I didn't even know what engine was in it, I like surprised uh, myself on that one. Uh, so at the moment the Pista's winning, but uh, this season's only been active for less than two hours, so it, it'll change, I can guarantee, whether it'll be more people vote for the Pista, more people vote for the Aston Martin, I don't know, but it will change. Um, so there you go. And then for the Super 7 this week, I am actually pretty hyped for this one. The first time I am definitely going to make sure i got time to do the Super 7. So for completing your first set of 7 challenges, you can only get it once. You will get Shelby 1000. Yes! So if you didn't get it in uh, spring of Series 32, I think it was released, um, for the Seasonal Championship, Shelby coming around the mountain. Um, then you will be able to get it in here. So all you need to do is complete a set of seven challenges. Like I said, you can only get it once after that it turns to credits or wheel spins. And you can burn any cards that you don't want or you can't do or you just don't want um, until you get the Shelby 1000. I have made 11 tunes on it. I did a whole video on it, so I'll put a link to that in the end screen along with the falls on video um, and it is I made a godlike drifting tune that's probably the best tune um, it's absolutely epic drift car I would say 50% of the drift swords in this game on all three maps uh, my PB will be in the Shelby I'll probably say uh, or the BMW so really really good car um, and I would highly suggest that you get that one so regarding the falls of bomb uh, in which you need to use the no turn mobile Mercedes truck literally the worst car in the game doing bunny ears on that one um, for the Forza Thorn where you need to use that uh, which I've just completed uh, you can check that out uh, on my channel or I'll put a link to it in the end screen at the end of the video so make sure you stick around to the end for that um, it is a pretty easy Forza Thorn it's just boring um, and in terms of the car phew, gee whiz um, it couldn't have been any worse if I'm honest with you um, so yes that is that uh, and if you do want to see any more videos on the Forzland challenges full completion guides like this one you're just watching or any other videos make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button turn notifications on that would massively help out the channel I'm almost at 75 subscribers that's my next goal for the channel it's absolutely amazing come, uh, come so far in just over half a year um, and I'm really looking forward to producing more content as we get towards uh, summer. And um, like, obviously we're in summer on Fox, but I mean in real life. Um, so really looking forward to it. Um, cracking some more awesome videos and live streams as well. Um, so yeah. Right, so that's the Falls Thorn. If you do need any help with any daily Falls Thorn challenges, they are pretty simple usually, um, but if you are struggling, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Do just bear in mind, if we're in a different time zone, I uh, may be asleep or I may be busy or something, so as soon as I, I actually see it, uh, I'll uh, make sure I reply um, to it. Um, so don't worry about that, I will always reply to the comments unless they're one of them uh, vom.nerd.monster links or whatever they are. People wasting the time uh, dropping links in small channels, really, just why? So, on with the stunts. Uh, it won't show me the seasonal objectives now because I completed them in the first video, but I can remember them, trust me. Um, so, for the first one, you have Glen Rannick Speed Zone, you need 97 miles an hour, so 2 miles an hour more than the original 3 stars. Um, and for this, you could say the CCGT, the IDR, uh, the Mosler, the Apollo, uh, I don't know, anything basically, the Ferrari 599 Evo. But I am going to be taking the Senna. So you can go from both ways. Going this way, you'll have to brake hard on this corner. This way, you can accelerate out the corner. Um, I'm just going to be going this side about there. And then I'll change to the Senna. God forbid I'm not doing it in this humongously terrible truck. Mm. 
Um, I've cracked on with it a bit, and in the first attempt I was waffling on for a bit, so I'm actually ahead of time here, I think, or just about on time for 20 minutes that I tried to go for every time, and I've only ever succeeded once, and I think that's because I missed something out. Right, what am I doing? So, uh, as usual, uh, the past few weeks I've been uh, putting share codes in the description um, for the cars I've been using for the stunts and the suggested for the championships. Uh, I'll be s I've will be selected two or three for each championship trial and games event and I've put the share codes for them in the description. They're the ones that I think are the best for each event and the, the cars I'll be using for today's stunts are also in the description so you can check them out uh, as well as any other information. And if you are struggling with anything or need anything you can let me know in the comments. So let's crack on around the first corner Right up to overshoot. I can cut this corner a bit, that's it. Here you have to break hard. You can cut it and then it still counts down for a bit. Um, this is not as good as the first run I did in the first uh, take of the video, but right, still enough. Uh, and that is it. So that could have been a lot better, but still got it, so um, that's fine. Now for the next one you have lower fell speed trap where you need 210 mile an hour which is 5 mile an hour more than 3 stars. You can go uh, either way once again this corner is a bit tighter but in the centre it should be no problem uh, but I'm just going to go back here. So in the first attempt I started about here I think and I got 212 so that should be just about enough. Um, I kind of messed up first gear in the first attempt but doesn't matter. <laughs> Again, there's a lot more cars you can use for this. Any car that does 210 mile an hour um, will be fine, basically. So, anything above, um, I would say, S1 uh, for some cars, like the the GT, uh, etc. So we'll just go. Uh, I kind of messed up first gear again there, but uh, 210 miles an hour required. This is a, I remember we had this in winter once and it was an absolutely horrible event. But we're in summer this time, so that's ideal. We don't have this one often actually. Oh, glitch, map glitch there. That, that, that guy's not having any luck. There you go, 214.1. That is it completed. And finally, for the danger sign, uh, we had this one the other week actually. Uh, Hilltop Vista, 189 meters required. That's 6.1 meters more than the three stars. Uh, you can the nearest place you can fast travel to is here, so we'll just have to go there. Uh, for this one, you don't have to hit the ramp uh, the way it's facing. You can hit it at a bit of an angle to to get more speed and jump further. Uh, so you can use the trail cat, the bowler, the molesler, be a bit slippery with that one, the Hoonigan RS200, um, a lot of cars you can use for this. I'm going to be using the Toyota Baja, not the welcome pack, the don't have the welcome pack, uh, compromisation. It's basically just maxed out. The tune's called Too Fast, just because back at the time when I created it I didn't realise how fast it was with the racing V8 in it. I'm going to make an S1 tune, I think, to compete with the welcome pack. I'll see how I get on there. So let's get in this. You can actually probably do it in the centre, it's that easy, but um, just just for it to make it easier for everybody, I'm going in the Baja. If you do have any cars uh, that, you, that you use for the championships or stunts or anything, uh, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, and you can, if you've got any tunes, uh, you can prop the share codes or your gamer tag for those in the description as well if you fancy. What am I even doing? I've gone past it, haven't I? Silly me. Stupid idiot. Right, there it is. That one. So it weighs uh, just about two tonnes, so it's pretty heavy. Um, but it's really fast and boingy. It's known for being very boingy. It's got the softest suspension in the world. <laughs> My Xbox One S loading times isn't great, but it does. Right, so, uh, you don't need to start this far back, but it's the nearest place you can fast travel to. Uh, mine the barn find. I often crash into them. I was very lucky on my, my online adventure stream on Tuesday. So you can use this tree as a reference. Uh, I don't mean crash into it like I've just done. Uh, but you, you can use that as a reference to where you need to start. And you want to 
go just to the right, I would say. You don't need to, but it might just help if, if you're struggling. This is, uh, that's a really bad run. I'm not even sure whether this is going to complete it. Destination. Oh, just, just scrape by. 201 metres. Uh, so as you can see, even with a horrific run-up that I just had, it is uh, easy to complete. So that is the stunts done. Now we can move on to the championships. Yay! So, for the showcase remix, you're in the Lamborghini Centenario. It's usually the Aston Martin Vulcan, I think. So you're in the Centenario, which is a hypercar. You can actually use that for the trial on the photo challenge. Um, and you're against the jet fighter thing. Yeah, it is all-wheel drive, so you won't need to worry about traction control or stability control. And when the, the uh, jet comes over you, it uh, shakes your car a bit. You won't be needing to worry about spinning out there. So just make sure you beat it. You need to be on highly skilled or above for all of the championships, uh, apart from the trial, which is automatically set to unbeatable. Um, and that is that. For this championship here, it is Bring Me a Dream. You win... I think it's a 2011 Ford Raptor, pretty cool car, and you need a D-Class van in utility. So we had this one in winter, I think, for the cold storage, so it's a bit boring, but with the cars I've got, it isn't. So the Ford Transit, I've updated my Ford Transit tune, also put a nice design on it. Um, so I tried all-wheel drive, tried rear-wheel drive, I ended up going back to rear-wheel drive, um, so it's pretty fast, it's got plenty of power. Um, and even though the launch and acceleration look low in stats, I've tuned the gears, uh, made them a bit shorter to give you a boost on the start off. Um, so I've spent a bit of time on that tune. Um, but an even better choice is the OP 1983 GMC Vandura. Um, with the 6.2 litre V8, you can pack over 400 horsepower in D class and 800 horsepower in A class. All for the price of 25,000 starting off and maybe 50 grand for the tune max. Um, the um, handling it isn't particularly great. Uh, in A class you can fit dirt tyres and stuff on, but in D class you can't, so it's not the best. Um, but with all that power and speed, you can slide it around um, as well. Um, so that's a, that's a very good car there. I really like that one. Uh, you can, I know a lot of people use the Morris Traveller. I have two tunes for it, as you can see, B and A class, so I haven't bothered tuning it um, this time for D class, um, but you can also use that as well as the Holden um, and stuff like that. So whichever you fancy there. And now for what's next? So we'll go to this one. So road racing, cult following. Now I think you win. Time for the VW Jaya gear. Or VW, um, can't remember what the name of the red one, Type 3, something or other, I think it is. Uh, so you need a D class cult car, yay, another D class, yay. So, um, pretty slow, but you have got another OP car. So I've updated my tune on a 1968 Abarth 595 SSZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZ
Right, now for the final championship, uh, it's dirt racing this one, it's called Down Under. You need um, an A-class country from Aus an A-class car from the country of Australia, um, so Holdens etc. Uh, and for this you win uh, the HSV GTS, which um, was at 11 million and I sold one of mine, I had two, now I've only got one, but I'll have another two after this, so I'm doing the wrong thing. Country and then Australia so here you've got quite a lot of choice um, yeah you have got quite a lot of choice that's the guy you win um, so I tuned the 1996 HSV GTSR it isn't in the auto show I'm not really sure what, how much it is in the auction house but I don't think it'll be that much because I have three of them as you can see um, it has 600 horsepower uh, it handles really well I've tuned I spent quite a lot of time on this tune perfecting the handling suspension speed uh, it's got the rally suspension it's really really grippy and uh, really fast uh, so that's an all-round balanced car or you could take um, the more road suited uh, 2014 HS3 Gen F GTS um, which is a bit faster on the straights not quite as good handling but it does have a bit more power um, so whichever you fancy but I'd probably be taking this one for the fun of it um, but you can take any that you like for that one uh, for the games uh, it's at Mortimer Gardens massive sign uh, it's summer games obviously for it you win the Bentley Continental Falls edition and you need an A class GT car we've had GT cars a lot recently we had Super GT last week's Falls one kind of getting sick of them but the quartz regalia which was voted in the back stage last week is usable for this uh, remember you don't have to win for games so don't be quitting if your team's losing or anything I understand if you get disconnected because disconnects recently are quite high the servers are pretty rubbish at the moment um, but don't be quitting you can always come back and win afterwards just don't quit for the sake of it it's not worth it um, so the Alpha 8C that's a really good car the Bentley pretty good car the M6 yeah pretty good car the XKRS, pretty good car, and the Maserati, more people use the Maserati, and then that's the Quartz, bit of a dope tune there, not really made for anything. So I think my top two are the Maserati and the Alpha, but because it's games it doesn't really matter what you take, so the Bentley will be good, the M6 and the XKRS. I think these will be better suited to Mortimer Gardens, um, but it's completely up to you, um, if I'm honest. Right, and then finally, to finish off the trial, which thankfully isn't B700 buggies with nerfed AI, uh, although the AI will be pretty nerfed, for S2998 hypercars, where you win the Lamborghini Veneno. Um, so, yes, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, so, there are quite a few you can take, but most of mine are either untuned, badly tuned, or tuned to X class. So the Chirons don't turn, the Bugattis I mean, so don't take them. That's X class. Uh, I need to improve the tune on that one, but it'll probably do. But I hate the, uh, the Ferrari F50 V12, so I might have to tweak that. The Agera is more built for winter because it's got snow tyres, but very, very fast and powerful. Um, the CCGT, you can't use that because it's a track toy, I think. Um, what else? So, this is the guy you're using for the Showcase Remix. You can use that if you want. Uh, if you do have Lego, the uh, Senna's pretty good. Um, the, you know, the normal Senna, also pretty good. The Noble, I found out the other day when I used it, it is actually better than I remembered. Uh, the Tachyon, I'm getting rid of that for sure. And finally, uh, I tuned this specifically, the 2019 Zemo TSRS. Shouldn't be too expensive as I've got three of them, which means it's been released three times since a re initial release. Um, so that I tried uh, really grippy, which was really grippy, and then I tried a bit more power whilst maintaining good grip. It's not quite as grippy, um, but it is really good and I've tuned it, uh, balanced it well, so that's probably my best pick for this one. Hey, you can also use the Venino. Um, I just sold mine because I knew it was coming back as a reward. Um, so if you already have it, which you probably have because it's in the auto show, then you can use that as well. So that is it, guys, for today's video. Sorry it's been a bit longer. I failed to complete my mission of 20, uh, 20 minutes or less, unfortunately. Um, and sorry for it being a bit later tonight. That's because of uh, the late attempt. Hopefully, this will be on YouTube, actually, if it's worked this time. Thank hopefully it will. Um, 
I don't really know what's going on with my uh, files to be honest with you so if you did enjoy this video I'd massively appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on that would massively help out if you do have any questions or anything else there you can use the comment section below make sure to check the description for any other information and tune codes and also uh, look at the end screen which should appear around now uh, for links to the Flaws on video and the Shelby 1000 video so that's it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye